Hello everyone, my name is Fluffy Armchair Admiral and this is Train Driver 2. Yes, finally. Uh, most of you, or some of you, probably were waiting for quite a long time for me to eventually post another video about this magnificent game. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> I just couldn't uh, perhaps find time uh, now. I, I wouldn't say I didn't have time to play it. Uh, but I couldn't gather myself to eventually jump back in and play a little bit more. And today I decided, you know what, uh, I'm, I'm just sitting at home having not much to do. Uh, to be honest, I haven't got any, any plans for making video today, or at least for the day that I'm recording that video. You will probably see that a day or two days after I actually recorded the video. Uh, I'm, well, as I said, I, I've been having like a quite calm and silent day. Uh, my partner went out for a business trip and I decided, well, why not? Uh, even though I don't feel the best after taking second COVID vaccine, you, you can actually imagine how I feel right now. <laughs> yeah, it, it isn't that bad. I, I have to admit that it isn't that bad, uh, as many people may say. Uh, like, my arm definitely hurts. <laughs> it feels like... I've been hit by a train <laughs> uh, and I feel generally tired, but other than that, um, I don't have any fever and I, I feel pretty okay. So I decided, you know what, I, I got that silent day and, and it would be nice to eventually jump into one of the games that I like to play and just relax. And that's what this video is all about. I'm not going to be highlighting any technicalities, any news about the game, uh, although there is not much news, to be honest. Uh, since my last video, nothing has really changed in the game just yet. Um, I read through the forums uh, before I started uh, recording that video, and uh, there's not much news just yet. I do have a feeling that a new version is coming really, really soon, mostly because... Uh, this version that I'm currently playing, or current version, which is 2020.1.1, uh, was released about a year ago. So I think it's about time for, for the developers to show something new, introduce something new to the game, perhaps make an update. Uh, but we will have to wait for any official statements on that part. Uh, until then, well, let's enjoy the game in the state that it's in right now. It's been like three, four months since I last played. So let's have a look uh, at how the game have changed, shall we? Okay, here we are, back at the main menu of Train Driver 2. Let's jump into multiplayer driver mode, uh, because I'm planning to drive a train today instead of dispatching. I, I don't really feel okay enough to um, to eventually bother with dispatching. So yeah, just a nice, short or perhaps even longer relaxing drive would be a good idea, I guess. Uh, I've already pre-selected a train for us, so let's have a look at the consist. We will be driving EU07515. Uh, which is one of my favorites, to be honest. And we're going to take some freight with us. A couple of uh, tank wagons, a couple of hoppers, uh, perhaps some container wagons. Uh, I think I loaded some containers on those platforms. And a little bit more of tank wagons. Uh, so... A grand total length of our consist will be 395 meters and the total weight will be 1579 tons. So it's pretty heavy for, uh, for that locomotive. Uh, it is rated at around 2000 tons. 
Uh, so we are almost, well, we basically are at three quarters of what this uh, locomotive can handle. That's why I will limit my speed to 70 kilometers per hour, regardless of the track speed. Right, so let's confirm that. Let's jump somewhere. Perhaps LCS Borove, Ripson. Yeah, that's a good dispatcher, if I remember correctly. So why not? Let's jump in a slot for freight train. Let's wait for the game to load. And there we are. Right, uh, before I will send my analysis, let's set up the locomotive. Oop, uh, as always, I open the door. So, let's have a look. Oh, as always, I opened patches. It's very easy to do that because you have to hold your right mouse button to. Uh, to actually turn your camera and every time you hover it over any doors or uh, any any other elements that can be opened you will accidentally open it right so let's turn on the lights uh, I really like to have some lights inside perfect uh, let's turn on the backlit on the gauges Perfect. Uh, let's set up our lights for the travel, even though we are not planning to travel just yet. Uh, let's raise the Pantograph A, because we are stationary. Perfect. Uh, let's set our train for freight. Perfect. I think everything is set up. We can set up our driver's seat. Perhaps a little bit higher or lower. There we go. Yeah, that's that's going to be good. Perfect. Let's lock the camera using control 1. Uh, let's expand our timetable. I'm not sure how long it's going to be. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Now let's set the external camera. also let's look at our consist so that's how our, well so that's how our lovely train looks like as you can see we got mixed freight of all kinds some scrap metal in those hoppers some box wagons yeah a little bit of everything okay can even lock the camera, perfect, just perfect, right, let's turn off UI, we might as well take a screenshot, perfect, I hope it's been taken, okay, so now we can jump off, I think it was F11, oh yeah, I still remember controls, <laughs> Perfect. So that's how it looks like from the front. Let's take another screenshot. Beautiful. Okay, our tank wagons, hoppers. Perfect, perfect. 
quick inspection along the consist. I really like those box wagons. I don't know why. Okay, some more hoppers. I think I loaded scrap metal into them. Container wagons. More box cars and some more tankers. Okay. Perfect. Let's jump back into to the cabin. And for now, all I have to do is wait. So I'll be back with you when we get our timetable. Alright, welcome back. Uh, as you may have noticed, I got my timetable right now. Uh, so we will begin at Borove Tovarove, where we are stopped at signal B at 5.39, which is in about 13 minutes. Uh, and then we're gonna carry on through Borove Pod posterunek od Graniczny, Wysoka posterunek od Graniczny, od Focko, Gdańsk Główny, Gdańsk Południowy, Wola, Wyraj pod Stacja, Arkadia Zdrój, Bargowice, Czermin, Schodna. And we are going to finish our trip at Grabów Miasto at 7.15. So it's a pretty long route, I have to admit. Um, although... Maybe not as long as you might have think. Uh, the one thing that I'm missing in that timetable are any technical stops. I, I really love to do those. Uh, but it's better than nothing. I can't complain about it. At least we won't have to wait, potentially. Uh, although that might change. Uh, because if any other dispatcher will have to stop us, then obviously we will have to stop. Uh, but it will give you an idea of how long this video could be. Um, at least, well, at the moment I'm currently at nearly 20 minutes of recording, but, well, uh, probably you haven't watched that long video so far, uh, because I, I definitely did some edits to cut out the parts that are terribly boring, where I'm sitting on the siding doing absolutely nothing. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now. All I have to do is wait uh, until the signal changes. There is no need for us to actually do anything. So I'll be back with you closer to our departure. Right, so here we are, finally departing.
let's get that thing moving. Oh, I can already feel that it's struggling. <laughs> Yeah. 1500 tons is definitely a significant weight for that locomotive. Okay, let's try to increase our speed. Let's lower the front pantograph. Perfect. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Alerter. I need to watch out on that. The track speed limit is 60. But I don't have to really worry about it at the moment. Because getting to 60 will take me quite a while. <laughs> it's not that easy to achieve with uh, EU07 having 1500 tons on the hook. As you can see, I'm traveling at steady 30 I still have to wait for entire train to go past that new speed limit so it will take a while okay our speed is slowly increasing just perfect as soon w as we start rolling at a steady speed and providing that we don't really have to stop, we should be alright. But it might take a while before we get there. I don't like that signal. We got limited speed ahead. And we have to be prepared to stop. So I'm not gonna go past 40. Just in case I need to bring that train to a halt. Let's start braking.
There we go. Speed limit is 40. Oh, speed limit is 60. But at least we've done our brake test. Although, technically you should do a brake test when you hit 60 km per hour, but... With a freight train, I think 40 is appropriate. It's getting busy on the tracks. We are going on the right track. Let's try and increase our speed before that neutral zone in front of us. it before we can carry on just a bit more perfect Let's get up to 70. It's been ages since I've been driving any train in Train Driver 2. I feel very rusty. <laughs> oh, huh, that was close. That last notch. brought our power consumption to the very limit of this locomotive. A few seconds sooner and probably I would have to restart the entire locomotive. But right now we are doing great. Uh, 
perhaps we are slightly late although it looks like we might be more or less on time I think yeah Visoka is a few kilometers ahead so we are slightly late but that's normal for freight train you always catch some delay on, on those it's really tough to predict what's gonna be track conditions that will eventually allow you to reach all the uh, well all that full speed and on top of that anything has a priority over you so well that's normal I doubt we will make it by 7.15 to reach Grab of Miasto. However, if nobody will stop us along the route, the entire route is at 70. So as soon as we hit that speed, we might just carry on. So who knows, uh, we might be lucky or we might not. For now, things are looking really good. Let's give it a little bit more power so that we can get to that 70. Just a tiny bit sooner. Although... I can't really make it just yet. But I think we got... Yellow signal in front of us, which means that we will have to stop and let somebody else through. Can't really make it just yet. I can see the signals. Yeah, that looks like yellow and I don't like it I don't like getting yellows that means that I need to be prepared to stop That's going to be close. Okay, maybe not that close. We may now release the brakes. Okay, now we got green signal, but we have to wait for our brakes to release. gonna take a while
Okay. Oh. We are rolling again. Let's increase our speed as soon as we can. It's not gonna be easy with that heavy consist. As you can see, yeah, it is really heavy. resistors to pull off a bit we are still allowed to travel at full speed it's gonna take a while before we get there which is always a problem with uh, with the freight trains Whenever you have to stop, obviously that will massively slow you down. Especially when you are with a very heavy load for the unit that you are driving. And that's one of them. Three quarters of maximum weight that this thing can pull is definitely a heavy load. But we are getting there. We should soon reach the end of the scenery. A new scenery is now loading. There we go. It is gonna take a while. Probably we will see loading screen anyway. Uh, because I haven't been playing for quite a while. And that's pretty much fresh install. So the game needs to download all the sceneries. And sort them out. Uh, the new track speed limit will be 80. It doesn't really affect me. I can't go over 70 or at least I shouldn't be going over 70 with that unit okay let's release that and let's get to the top speed using full power of engines 
there we go now we got loading screen and we are back on a brand new scenery so this is Otvotsko, Gdańsk and Wola track speed limit is 80 we are approaching Otvotsko Okay, traveling at steady 70. I really love that sound. Honestly. Traveling on those old tracks is really, really nice. Oop. Sadly, the dispatcher haven't set our route. So I need to slow down. That was my mistake. Yeah. Hopefully I made it. Yeah. I'm down to... Just 20. Which is appropriate speed. However, I messed up with the brakes. I don't know if you noticed, but... Instead of pressing release... Uh, which is basically a blowout release from the brakes. I pressed emergency <laughs> for a second and That was a huge mistake. Thankfully those brakes uh, Can actually handle it. I'm not sure if they work like that in reality I uh, can't really remember But I managed to recover before I stopped the train that's the most important part. We will roll onto that siding, wherever we are being sent. Because we will probably not continue. At our full speed. There is no need to speed up even further because the next signal is S1 or at least it is supposed to be so I'm just gonna roll in as close as I can I'm not sure where that signal is oh never mind we are going ahead Looks like we got a green signal. Yes. Looks like this patcher eventually set our signals correctly. So we may now continue, however it slowed us down really greatly because operating brakes in, in that train always ends up like that. 
which eventually is not the best situation for a freight train. Anyway, we can roll in at a full track speed. I didn't notice any further signs, so track speed should be 80. Which also means that with our maximum speed, we should be allowed to travel at our full speed. Now that the guy nearly showed me S1 in front of me, he will have to wait until I get back to speed with that thing. at 45 So, uh, what is that tiny station? Oh, Schwiderek. Okay. So it's not on my list uh, for some reason. I'm not sure why the timetable was generated without including all the stations or posts that I'm gonna go through. Apparently Otvotsko was listed. Anyway, our next post that we will visit should be Gdańsk Główny. Right, let's speed up a little bit. at the very limit of that engine. There, oh, we are almost at 70 again, which is good. Oh, my goodness me. Okay, next scenery is loading. We are approaching 100 km per hour speed limit. doesn't really affect us and now we can carry on hopefully at Gdańsk uh, a dispatcher will be faster to set my signals uh, because if you do it too late then obviously I have to adhere to the signals that I'm passing next to and uh, the signals that I've been facing were I can't remember which number, that was S3, I think, S2, no, that was S3, or S4, can't remember the numbers, okay, I always suck at, at those numbers, uh, but eventually, 
it informed me that my speed limit should stay at 40 and I need to be prepared to stop. So obviously that's what I was doing. And then dispatcher decided, you know what, let's send this guy through. The problem is that when you send through a train that you nearly stopped, you have to wait until the speed goes back up. Because it's not easy to get back to speed with that thing. Okay, looks like our signal is set correctly. Let's say hello. Yeah. Okay, we can let it coast. I'm traveling a little bit faster than I should. But perhaps that's not a bad idea. Not exactly appropriate though. Yeah. Let's slow down a little bit. Because I can't let my train to go way too fast. Let's release the brakes now. I'm just coasting, so we should end up slightly below 70 and, and that's a pretty good idea because I'm approaching 60 km per hour speed limit so I might as well slow down Okay. Good. I got a fly through set up. Which is perfect. But I still need to go through the station. And the speed limit here is 60. So let's carry on. Perfect. I hope there will be no nasty surprises from the dispatcher. So far things are looking good. Okay, let's let it coast. Perfect. We will be through this station in no time. And right after that tunnel, I will be able to get back to 70, which is great. Okay. Very good. We are flying through. That's exactly what I want to see. 
<sighs> Perfect. Right. Let's give it a little bit more juice. And hopefully we can reach 70 in no time. Let's give Tenzi a thumbs up. Okay, that should be enough power to get us all the way to 70. So that was Gdańsk Główny. We still got Gdańsk Południowy, which we are approaching right now. We are already late. The next station would be Vola. Then we'll fly through Virai and Arcadia. Hopefully that won't take us too long. Finally, Bargovice, Czermin, Wschodna, and finally Grabów Miasto. It shouldn't take too long to reach our destination, although... There we go. I completely didn't notice that I went through neutral section that could have ended really bad but I guess when I'm focusing my eyes more on the timetable than on the road ahead yeah that's that's what I missed if I would carry on through that sign in front of me most likely the game would consider that ignoring a neutral zone even though yeah I actually uh, took my throttle off a little bit too late that's not all right I need to work on that so that's what is that uh, is that Gdańs Is that Gdańsk Południowy? Or is that... No, I think that's Gdańsk Orunia, is it? Hmm. Oh yeah, Gdańsk Południowy was that siding. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I completely forgot this route. Yeah, I, I need to... Remind myself about how to drive on on those tracks anyway we are approaching end of the scenery so it would be nice to say see you although we still got quite a distance to cover we are pretty much on the straight track right into the next scenery it shouldn't take us that long to reach it okay next speed limit is 100 kilometers per hour not that it really matters mostly because my top speed is 70 and I can barely reach that so it will take me ages to actually hit that speed but that's what I get for taking freight train you won't be the fastest train on the tracks uh, it's definitely not one of those fast passenger trains where you can travel up to 160 or even higher in some cases although this game doesn't feature any truly high speed rail there we go that's the end of the scenery unfortunately as soon as we reach that point we will see another loading screen there is nothing we can do about it.
Uh, because it takes a while to... Well, for the game to actually make a full collection of sceneries. The more you drive, the less of those loading screens you will see. But, well, we've been there, we've done that. If you watched my previous episodes, you probably noticed that there are moments when we get plenty of those loading screens and there are moments when there is no loading screens at all. Anyway, uh, we are now traveling through Vola. Hopefully this guy is gonna set my route correctly without any issues. No. We are going uphill a little bit. Okay, perfect. Just perfect, okay, the guy basically gave me fly through. That's what I call a nice and relaxing drive. You don't really have to do much when it comes to steering. Obviously you have to follow the signals. And that takes a while to get a grip on. Especially on Polish railways where there is 18 different combinations that you have to worry about. Was it 18 or 19? Yeah, something like that. They are not particularly difficult though, so... It's very easy to get a grips on it. On top of that you got repeater signals like the one that I just went past through. Oh there we go. This is an old semaphore. So that's a tricky station. You have to watch out for those semaphores to change and obviously you can't really spot them from a large distance. So you have to be very careful not to go through. We just heard junction setting. That was pretty loud, isn't it? Anyway, I really like this station. I used to dispatch on this one. And it's really fun to do it. There we go. I don't know why, but I do have a... Oh, okay, yeah. I had a weird feeling that the guy started to set the junction when my train was going through it. Obviously, that wouldn't end well. And that would end up in a massive accident. But I guess he was setting the track right next to me, and those are very loud. 
actually surprisingly loud. Anyway, it's 624 and we are supposed to be at Virai. So we are pretty much one post behind our schedule. Not bad, not bad. Just a tiny delay, which shouldn't be too much of a problem. <sighs> I really missed this game. Uh, I, I have to admit that it is a whole lot of fun. Much more fun than Train Sim World 2, at least in my opinion. But, well, different people will have their own opinions. I really, really prefer to play Train Driver 2 over Train Sim World 2. I don't know why, even though, like, Train Sim World has much better graphics, you have to admit that, or at least even I have to admit that, like, Train Sim World 2 has absolutely lovely graphics. But every time I play this game, I, I feel like something is missing. There is always that something that pushes me slightly away from Train Sim World 2. And I don't get that feeling when I'm playing Train Driver 2. Um, even though, like, sceneries are always the same, they won't change, basically, and they are, like, nothing new. Obviously, every single time in Train Driver, when you get a new timetable, you can get a different set of sceneries, and they will just load themselves in a different order. That makes things like fun, I, I'd say, and, and that makes every single trip unique in that game. Uh, but another thing that makes things unique is obviously that multiplayer. Uh, I, I really love the fact that this is a multiplayer experience. I love the fact that you can never predict what's going to happen next. So right now we are approaching Arcadia. That's pretty much that scenery. Uh, it's gonna soon load and we are going to connect to the dispatcher. And then we'll see what's gonna happen. I can never predict what I'm gonna see on this scenery. So right now, yeah, okay. There we go. Track speed limit is 80. I'm doing 67, roughly. My route has been set. Perfect. I can see green light in front of me, which tells me that... There we go. I got at least entry. I'm not sure about fly through. But I can at least get onto the station, or into the station. I still need to be prepared to stop. Okay, perfect. Repeater signals are all green, which means the main signal is green. There we go. And now the question is... How does... the next signal look like? We might start getting some speed limits. Ooh, I'm at the very limit. Yeah.
This loco is definitely struggling, which means... Yeah, I need to watch out. I'm going uphill and my speed is dropping. I need to drop... Shunt. By a level. Otherwise... I might get into trouble. We will lose a lot of speed in here, mostly because I'm traveling uphill. You can see that this is definitely very heavy load for that locomotive. And that's when you can feel it. I'm unable to keep a steady speed. 60 is the top that I can do. And it feels like locomotive is suffering. Yeah, definitely keeping that speed is very painful for this locomotive. However, I think we are now on even ground. So we will slowly regain speed. Oops. Okay, so I got full fly through. I don't have to worry about it too much Oh, somebody passed a red signal down Okay, that is the speed limit. Of 40. Obviously it's not easy to slow down to appropriate speed with this particular consist. So I have to go through this section with a top speed of 40. There we go. Ooh, you, you can feel how the train is moving sideways yeah the tracks in here are really dodgy there we go that's the sign that allows me to speed up however I need to let entire train to pass and I'm nearly 400 meters long so it's gonna take a while We 
should now be able to speed up. Yeah, definitely. It's really hard to spot those distance markers. uphill is definitely not the great idea. Yeah. That's the thing. We are traveling uphill. And this locomotive will struggle a lot. I can already see that. Oops, I completely forgot that I'm traveling on both pantographs, which is something I don't actually need to do. Okay, now it's lowered. Wow, you can see how much this locomotive is struggling. Thankfully, by the looks of it, the trucks might be going downhill really soon. Hopefully. Right, what I can do... Let's go to a high current. That will allow us. There we go. We can use some extra power at the cost of top speed. That should allow us to climb up this hill. Come on! You can do it! My goodness me! This is a very difficult climb, as you can see. I can't really crank it up any further. Although... Yeah. has been a while since I started to travel on resistance, so I need to speed up really quickly, otherwise I'm risking breaking the engines. Come on, just a tiny bit more. Oops. Right, loading screen. 
right after the loading screen i need to reduce power or i need to actually increase it there we go we are now on full power we can go to normal current level and we should be able to keep our speed Whew, that was tough definitely that speed limit behind Arcadia Zdrój uh, was uh, not an easy task for this locomotive especially with such a heavy load I think that was the first time ever that I've been traveling through that part of the route with such a heavy load and obviously you can see how problematic that is when you slow down to like 30 40 kilometers per hour then you need to regain speed and your engine just can't pull it <laughs> Anyway, we are on the next scenery, approaching Bargovice. Obviously, we are late already, but... Okay. Our route is clear all the way to Chermin. Which is good. We can now focus on just traveling. shouldn't take us long there we go we are now going downhill which is a little bit of a problem we need to slow down Okay, let's release the brakes. Okay. Now we should be alright to go through this station. Hopefully there will be no nasty speed limits like on the previous one. Okay, nice and steady. Perfect. Let's reduce the shunt. And that should be enough. So, we are now approaching Chermin. Uh, it is a very large scenery. Uh, after Chairman, we will go through Vzhodna. And then finally Grabov Miasto. I have to admit that we are more or less on time, although you can see that, yeah, we are falling behind and there is quite a long way between Barkovice and Chermin. 
that's pretty much 80 well yeah that's like almost 20 minutes okay let's let it coast we got a neutral zone ahead there it is In fact, we can let it coast all the way. We are already speeding a little bit. Traveling at 75 kilometers per hour. I think the tracks are going downhill. Okay, let's give a thumbs up to the dispatcher. Perfect. Oh, that is so far nice and relaxing drive. Not much adventures. Uh, we pretty much... Well, go without stop for all the time. Apart from... The first bit of our journey. We didn't really have to... Worry about it too much. Okay. We can now increase our speed as we've fallen below 70. And the next scenery is loading. We might actually get a chance to arrive at Chermin exactly on time, which will put us back on our timetable. I don't know if we can make it. But if we do, that will be a massive achievement. Okay. And the next scenery should be loading now perfect we're almost at our destination basically right after chairman there is only sodnia which is part of chairman if i remember correctly and then grab of miasto which isn't the biggest station ever And in fact, I think Chermin is the longest station, well, longest scenery that we will be going through. It will take us quite a few minutes, as you can see. Uh, it's 10 to 7. And we're gonna travel for about 30 kilometers, I think. Yeah, that, that's quite long scenery. And that is providing that we will have a fly through. Because depending on the situation on that scenery, we might not. Okay, let's let it coast. Because we got perfect track. They are nice and smooth. And I think I can see... Is that... That doesn't look like a sig- Oh, okay, that, that actually looks like a signal that I want to. Okay. Is that repeater, or is that a main semaphore? I will quickly find out. There is another train. Leaving the station. Okay. There we go. I'm speeding a little bit, but I know those tracks and I I'm fairly sure that yeah, slight speeding is not a problem in here. 
and trying to fix it with my brakes would probably make things worse. So as long as I'm not traveling at, at 80 or, well, too close to 80. In fact, I am already too close to 80, but well. Yeah, I think traveling at 80 is not a big deal. Probably I would get told off by my boss uh, for doing such thing. But depending on where you are and how things look like, I think, yeah. Okay, we might eventually give it a touch on the brakes. To reduce the momentum. Okay, that should be all right. It was just a touch on the brakes. And that was enough to reduce our speed down to 65. So eventually that will help us to keep our average at 70. So yeah, we should be alright. But you can now see how long this scenery is. I'm constantly traveling and I haven't reached the main station and it's already 6.52. That's the time where we should be at the station, but we are still quite a distance away. Right, we need to take the throttle out, let it coast for a while, that's a neutral zone, there we go. or neutral section, if you prefer that. I need to fly through this bit. Okay, now I should be okay. We can now speed up. And we are approaching the station itself. Slightly late, by about a minute. Okay, those are sidings. Yeah, providing that we got a fly-through setup and by the looks of everything, we probably do. We shouldn't have too much of a problems. And who knows, maybe, maybe by any chance we will be able. Oops, Hotna not responding. That is a problem. That is a problem. Because I'm past a siding. Okay, worst case scenario, I can do offline run through Vsod now. And head directly to Grabov Miasto. I guess that's the best choice. question is what is the signal in front of me I think he changed my signals because he can't set my route 
Please tell me you haven't changed my signals. Oh, you bastard. He definitely changed my signals. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I hope he has any safe place where he can stop me. Uh, stop me. Uh, that's most likely gonna be the next semaphore. But definitely that was unexpected. He could have said that he's gonna stop me instead of let me go. But so far all the signals were all green and the track speed limit is much higher than... signal would allow me to if I'm about to stop. Anyway, I'm gonna roll to the next signal and see what, what we will find there. don't want to speed up too much because obviously I'm approaching S1 but I don't know where it is and how far and since this is a very long route it will be quite some distance oh I think I can see it already Wrong button again. Yeah, I'm gonna be stopped at the next station. Ooh. There we go. Perhaps slightly too soon, but on high speed track, I guess that's that's the best we can get. Okay. 
So here we are. Let's release the brakes. So we will travel through the next station in offline mode. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. And at this moment the biggest problem I have is to get back to full speed. Because obviously since I stopped This is gonna be fun. some speed That was close. Okay, distance signal is showing me Oh. Okay. It's not a distance signal, it's a railroad crossing signal. I need to travel at 20 kilometers per hour through the next railroad crossing. Not ideal situation. This is going to be a slow ride. With a speed limited to 20. Oh, this is going to be very slow. Thankfully, it's just the locomotive that needs to enter the crossing. 
at that speed and then I can get back to full track speed but it's definitely not ideal The barrier seems to be close. You can now speed up. That is definitely not helping. But I can already see the end of the scenery. Okay, we are back basically at full throttle. Hopefully there will be no delays. Or at least no further delays. All signals are, are green. The next railroad crossing is actually secured. Perfect. Hopefully there will be no more adventures. There we go. Did we actually... Yes, we... Took off... Pantograph. Perfect. Wow. I have to admit that's my first journey in a while in Train Driver 2. Happens to be more exciting than I expected. Even though it's only a freight train. While it was kind of boring for most of the part. It got a little bit more interesting towards the end. So we are just going to go through Shodna in offline mode. Sadly there will be no dispatcher in there. But that can be easily amended. Thankfully the game has a failsafe for that. And then we're gonna reach Grabów Miasto, where our service will end. So by half past seven, I guess, we should be able to reach our next destination. Okay, the next scenery is about to load. There we go, there is always a tiny bit of luck when the new scenery is about to load. And funnily enough, uh, like 
my equipment, the one that I used to play and record, is quite powerful. And yet still the game lags when it loads the next scenery. That's absolutely hilarious. Uh, perhaps it's not the best optimized product, but well, given that it's for free, I guess complaints are not appropriate in that case. But it's still funny. It's still funny to see that this game can actually lag. Anyway, we are now approaching Sodna. There we are. Speed limit is 70. Ooh, that is interesting. doesn't really affect us at the moment because our maximum speed is 70 anyway but I'm now disconnecting from the previous scenery there we go so I think it was F6 There we go, dummy dispatcher initialized. So I'm on my way to the next post. My signals should be all green throughout entire scenery. And it's only Grab of Miasto that will eventually provide any issues. Hopefully not. use a little bit of shunt get that extra speed oh there we go old semaphores Okay, that shouldn't take that long. It's a very short scenery, if I remember correctly. And since we got the route set, we shouldn't encounter any issues. There we go, that's the station. We are traveling exactly at 70 kilometers per hour. That's nice and relaxing drive, right? Guys, it's been a while since I played this game and I'm really having a blast for past two hours. That's over two hours of playing this game and I haven't finished the first route, okay? So you can imagine how much fun you can get in this game. If you like to play it for 
steal more hours. Obviously, sometimes you, you're gonna get those very short routes that will take you through perhaps 50 kilometers of track, and that's just a trip between two or three stations, but for most part, you're gonna get one of those very, very long routes. And you have to reserve yourself some extra time. But if you like driving trains, that's one of the best products you can get for free. Yes. You heard me right. If that's the first episode of that series that you are watching, this product is available for free. And by checking out the rest of the playlist related to Train Driver 2, you may find out how to get your free copy. How to start playing and how to operate this locomotive that I'm driving right now. Or basically any locomotive from this family. Which is a large chunk of what this game has to offer. It's not everything though. There are many, well, there are a few other units that you can drive. And I heard rumors that there is another one coming. Perhaps not in the next patch, but I believe in near future we will see some more units being added to the game. So that's really nice to hear, to be honest. And I look forward to eventually see what developers will bring out. Obviously it takes time to, to model a new train and new wagons, rolling stock, whatever, yeah. So it takes a while. Anyway, we are now approaching Grab of Miasto. The scenery is now loading, perfect. Okay, we are going downhill. I definitely need to slow down a little bit. So that I can react on time. Okay, perfect. I'm not sure if I was expected, so I might expect to see a red signal right in front of me somewhere. It probably won't be the first signal, I will first get repeaters. That will inform me, hey, you will have to stop. But I do expect to see some of them really soon. Okay. I completely forgot how approach the Grab of Miasto looks like. But I think I remember those tracks. And I know what's coming. Let's better be ready. I'm going uphill. Do I? Or is it downhill right now? Hard to tell. Okay, another bridge. There we go. Neutral section right in front of me, just as I expected. You can see how hidden those markers are. 
they were barely visible. Okay. I will slow down a bit. That should be enough. Yeah, just as I expected. Speed limit of 40. I should be below when I reach that semaphore and the next signal will display S1 stop okay My speed is just perfect. I'm going on a siding where I will stop. go that's the red signal in front of us let's slowly pull closer my speed is dropping constantly so I don't need to panic the end of the platform I will engage the brakes and hopefully that should be enough Just perfect. Okay. Let's raise the pantograph. Let's jump out. And let's take a nice screenshot. Shall we? Just beautiful. Perhaps another one. Lovely. Did we actually fit within that junction or did part of my train not fit? That's a good question. I'm not sure if back of my train actually fully got onto this siding it looks like it did perhaps i started to slow down a little bit too soon yeah okay you can say that i managed to stop perfectly 
but I could have pulled it a little bit longer. Not a big deal. Although, yeah, it's not bad. Okay. So, guys, that was Train Driver 2. Huh. Yeah, it was very, very interesting route. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, today's trip. I know I wasn't super, like, chatty, uh, but, well, you don't get much of that uh, while I record. I was mostly commenting on what I'm doing. I hope you really, really enjoyed this route the same as I did. Uh, it was really fantastic to, to drive again in Train Driver. And hopefully uh, I will get back to this game really, really soon. It all depends how many of you will decide to look at the video, how many of you will enjoy it. Obviously today's episode was mostly about just a pure relax. It wasn't like a, any sort of event. Uh, it was not uh, something I do uh, too often. Uh, but yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed uh, this nice trip. Uh, it really reminded me of the times when I used to travel with those trains as a passenger, mostly, because I, I'm not a train driver in real life, unfortunately. Uh, and yeah, uh, that's, that brings back a lot of memories. And, and I guess, yeah, uh, it was nice to, to jump back into Polish trains and have a nice long journey uh, obviously for most part we've been just traveling uh, signals were were all green and everything went fine but well as you can see one tiny thing one missing person one missing dispatcher and everything breaks thankfully we managed to reach our final destination we finished our timetable and everything went pretty fine so, guys, let me know uh, about your thoughts in comments down below. I really would like to hear your feedback about today's uh, episode. And, well, I hope to catch you next time in the next video that I will release hopefully soon. Have a great day, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.